Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. Still the holiday season, uh, and we're well into the uh, time when a lot of places are doing Christmas parties, and things can get a little wild at Christmas parties sometime. Even the most reserved office can have things go a little wild, you know, once the party gets going and everything like that. And I'm sure lots and lots of people have some really great stories about crazy things that happened at their company holiday parties, their company Christmas parties. Uh, though I'm pretty sure that none of them compare to the story told in uh, one of my favorite Christmas movies, uh, the story of the uh, Nakatomi Christmas Party, the Nakatomi Corporation Christmas Party at Nakatomi Plaza in Los Angeles. For those of you who don't know that reference, that is the entire setting for the 1988 movie Die Hard, which is a Christmas movie. It happens at the Nakatomi Christmas party. The entire reason everyone is there is because it's the Christmas season and all of the Christmas stuff comes into play during the movie. If you haven't seen Die Hard, I don't know what kind of rock you've been living under. It is an absolutely fantastic action film. It's got Bruce Willis in it. Uh, playing John McClane, one of the greatest action heroes of the 80s and 90s. Uh, it has spawned a whole lot of follow-up movies, some a lot better than others, and there's talks now about there being a reboot, um, which lots of people have mixed feelings about skewing on the negative side, because this first movie is so perfect for an action movie. Uh, and for a Christmas movie. It's about John McClane, a guy who's come to Los Angeles, uh, or a New York City cop who's come to Los Angeles to visit his ex-wife for holidays, pick up their daughter, uh, and spend some quality family time together. It's a family movie. It's about those family ties. Uh, and he stops in at her office, the Nakatomi Corporation office, just in time for it to get attacked by terrorists who want to extort money from Nakatomi, get their hands on all sorts of interesting stuff, and more importantly, just get revenge. Because that's what it's always about in the long run, isn't it? At least that's what we get sequels about. The whole movie is just one big action sequence after another, and this is in 1988. This is before we got these huge, completely over-the-top action sequences. So when I say uh, wild action sequences and big action sequences, it's a lot of gunfire, a lot of actual physical stunts, uh, and a lot of stuff that you can kind of, sort of, maybe pull off without getting computers involved. Uh, not necessarily without getting wires and tire safety teams and a whole lot of uh, physical special effects people involved, but it's a much more down-to-earth action film uh, than a lot of what we get these days. That was one of the things that made Mad Max Fury Road really kind of awesome, was that there were real stunts in it, lots of real stunts, lots of physical effects, and it does make a difference with how the movie plays, with how the characters come across, with how the actors handle things in a movie. If an actor is facing something that's big and CGI, they don't necessarily know exactly what it's going to look like. They don't necessarily have that physical sense of where they are in relation to it. You put something physical in front of them, like, say, a bunch of terrorists with guns shooting at them across a server room, shattering glass everywhere, and then you have that character have to run across the glass with his bare feet, you get a pretty solid interpretation of what that would probably go down as. You have a character who does something like, say, jump out of a building two stories above the floor he wants to be on, holding onto a fire hose because there's about to be a big explosion. And he comes crashing down through that window two stories below. 
Well, that's a physical effect, and you can tell that stuntman is really working hard to not die. Uh, and there's lots and lots of stuff like that in Die Hard. Uh, and it's got Christmas music in the soundtrack, it's got wrapping paper, it's got a Christmas tree, it's got, you know, everything that makes uh, Christmas good is in this movie as well as a whole lot of shooting action, some fantastic one-liners, just a tremendous amount of fun, one of the best villains uh, ever. Alan Rickman is Hans Gruber. Uh, also, uh, William Atherton uh, playing a completely smarmy bastard who in every one of these movies gets exactly what he deserves. Uh, Bonnie Bedelia as, as uh, John McClane's ex-wife, uh, uh, Reginald Bell Johnson as a cop. It, it's just great. A lot of these characters reoccur over the uh, additional films. Uh, it's a movie that I've always enjoyed. Most people I know enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. Uh, it's got swearing and blood and death in it, so... Uh, adjust accordingly for your family, but I think it's a good family film. Maybe not the best thing to trot out Christmas morning, but, you know, when the kids are a little older, it's great. Have some fun. Enjoy the movie. Enjoy the one-liners. Enjoy Bruce Willis uh, at his prime, doing, uh, making the transition from comedy to action. You really can't, uh, can't beat anything in this movie. Uh, watch clips online. More importantly, just go out and watch the movie. Uh, I may watch it before Christmas. Uh, Die Hard 2, also a Christmas movie, uh, but we may talk more about that later. So you can do a back-to-back -back double feature of action-packed Christmas movies. If you think Die Hard is one of the best Christmas movies ever, let me know down in the comments. Uh, if you don't think so, let me know down in the comments. Uh, if you uh, like the stuff I talk about here, give me a thumbs up uh, right down there. If you're subscribed, thank you for being subscribed. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe so you can get notified when these things come out. If you know anyone else out there who's interested in the stuff I talk about or has an opinion about what the best action uh, Christmas movie ever is, uh, share this with them so they can comment down in the video, uh, down, in the, down in the comments. I'm Kier. That's it for today. Guess I'll see you tomorrow.